Hi everyone, this is Tony Mori. Join me on my visit with Bell Gloss winemaker Joe Wagner. Bell Gloss was started in 2001 by Napa Valley's Camus Vineyards as a Pinot Noir brand. The brand bears the maiden name of winemaker Joseph Wagner's grandmother who was a Camus co-founder. It honors Laura Belgloss Wagner's love of Pinot Noir. Belgloss has vineyards in three locations. Along the Sonoma coast, 240 kilometers south in the Santa Lucia Highlands, and a further 240 kilometers away in Santa Maria Valley in Santa Barbara County. So we founded Bell Gloss in 2001. Uh, the name Bell Gloss comes from my grandmother's maiden name, Lorna Bell Gloss Wagner. She was one of the co-founders of Camus, a very integral part in the establishment of the company. And to pay our respects to her, we uh, decided naming her favorite wine being Pinot Noir, um, naming a brand after her. So we ventured out looking for some of the best areas in California to produce Pinot Noir, and we were driven to the coast. Um, what we call Region 1 sites. So Region 1 is uh, a very very cool coastal site, the coolest to farm any wine grapes. Pinot Noir is an earlier ripening varietal, so um, we wanted that hang time to expand the amount of time between bloom and harvest so you get more development of flavors, more seed uh, lignification or hardening off and darkening, and more concentration in the skins. Those were, were the key points and where we were looking. So we were driven to three sites, three areas, Sonoma Coast, um, up in Northern California, then about 150 miles south of that, we were in Santa Lucia Highlands. Um, and then 150 miles beyond that again, we were in Santa Maria Valley of Santa Barbara County. So each one of these sites, very unique, very distinct soil profiles, very distinct climates. And all of those things uh, help to kind of create um, a very different style Pinot Noir. So what we're going for is really showing the true terroir of each one of those sites through the wine. So we want true expressions of Pinot Noir that express where they're grown, and it's our job to make sure we maintain those characters from vine to bottle. So for the Bell Gloss wines, the vineyard designates that we have, um, we are a cumulative production of about 3,000 cases. For the Mayomi, uh, Mayomi is our entry-level Pinot Noir, just a very easy drinking, uh, very enjoyable wine, and very food friendly. Um, that wine is more in the 18,000 case production, so a bit higher production, but lower price, and uh, just an everyday Pinot Noir is what we like to consider it. We have vineyard supervisor Thomas Lever with us today. We drove on Pacific Coast Highway overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Well, it took me about three and a half to four hours to get here. It was a long drive. Look at this breathtaking view. It's slightly different from either Napa or Sonoma Valley but it is beautiful indeed. Sometimes when the, when the boss needs me over there, I'll go yeah. there. Oh, okay. Sometimes I spend a week over there, if he needs me over there, I'll go there. Oh, okay. Yeah. So maybe I can see you at the uh, Camus sometime. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Thank you so right. much. Muchas gracias. The most important aspects of winemaking for me are uh, really being respectful of the fruit that you have. Not over extracting it, not under extracting it, making sure you're not over oaking something, that you're, you're respecting the true nuances of that wine. Utilizing oak and other winemaking techniques to be more or less the salt and pepper, the final touches, if you will, on the wine. Not something that actually truly makes the wine. We believe that the grapes and where they're grown and how they're grown truly make the wine. So what we're tasting today is the 2008 Bell Gloss Pinot Noir. This is from um, our Santa Lucia Highlands vineyard in Monterey County. We call it Los Alturas Vineyard. Uh, this wine is, is very consistent in producing some wine or uh, a, a, a Pinot Noir with very uh, kind of bacon characters, um, some nice roasted meats, a really nice kind of deep fruit core, um, but still has balanced acidity. 
The area which it's grown uh, is, is very unique in the sense that it creates a very ripe style Pinot Noir, but it's still balanced. And that's something we expect to see from this site year in and year out. The next wine that we're tasting is the 2008 Belle Gloss Mayomi. So this is a blend of three counties, Sonoma County, Monterey County, and Santa Barbara County. All very uh, coastal sites um, where we think Pinot Noir thrives, uh, and they're all blended together to create a very consistent blend. So what we're hoping uh, to achieve is that people understand this wine is a wine that we can produce in any given year um, as a, a very easy drinking, approachable Pinot Noir regardless of if we have uh, poor vintages in different appellations. I'm Joe Wagner, and I'd like to invite you to try our Belle Gloss Pinot Noirs. Whenever you're in the San Francisco Bay Area, you can stop by Camus Vineyards or many of the restaurants in the local area carry these wines. I hope you enjoyed visiting Belle Gloss. I'll see you guys next time.